So for the last 17 years, we have been working basically two teams on one court. We've been doing this for our entire existence as a club. Uh, we found that it has worked better for us with the energy level uh, in practice, and, and we get a lot, you know, a lot better reps, a lot better attitude out of the kids, and the environment is just extremely high. All right, now we're going to get into a little bit of serving. Serve and pass game is so important at the younger age. We're going to have four groups here, four groups of five with a, a shagger on the end line. What we're going to ask them to do is just bounce the ball to the ground as they're moving forward. Come about 20 feet up and toss the ball and serve, and then you'll follow your ball. As soon as the person takes off, the next person can start moving. Does that make sense? All right, here we go. And again, it's all about hand to ball contact. How many contacts can we get at this age in a practice to make their solid contact? Uh, oh. We don't have to serve it 20 miles an hour. We can just serve a nice, easy ball so we don't have to shag that much. So this gets them moving and more hand to ball contact. It's a beginning of practice. We're not asking them to serve from the end line, just 20 feet. Throughout this drill or throughout this practice, we may have them only go to the five feet, five feet inside the court. And then maybe we'll have them start at the end of the sport court and work their way up to the end line and serve at 30 feet. So they're working on putting a ball into play from 20, 25, and 30. Let's go ahead and go to 25, 25 and serve, 25 and serve. Obviously in our gym, uh, we have a wall somewhere there, so it helps us from a shagging standpoint so we're not losing so much time. And so with that being said, we don't have shaggers typically for this drill. You just go shag a ball, it usually bounces back to you onto the court, so you're not running that far. Let's go ahead and go to the end line. Let's start on the edge of the spore court. Start on the edge of the spore court. Start on the edge of the spore court. Work your way to the end line. You can do a jump float. You can get off your feet. You can stay down. Whatever you want to do. Here we go. So as we stagger this from 20 to 25 to 30, you obviously see percentages go down with volleyballs going into play. So depending on your team and your age, you may want to stay, hey, let's start at 15. I'm coaching an 11s team this year. Uh, I'm, I, I've asked each parent to give me a bottle of Tums, uh, but I also have the 17. So for our 10s, we would probably go all the way to the 10 foot line and then maybe work ourselves to the 15. And then maybe a half hour later, we'll go 15 and 20. 15, 20 minutes later, we'll go 20 to 25. So we'll work our way back gradually with younger teams.